hello and welcome to another video in the lab view today we will discuss about the some signal analysis how can you uh, multiply two different frequency signal and how can you filter out any specific frequency by using filter uh, low pass filter high pass filter okay so that we just simulate <coughs> some signal first from the express menu you can go to input and then go to simulate signal in simulate signal you can select any type of sign uh, wave signal type either sine square triangle sawtooth and DC just for simplicity I take the sine wave and the frequency the default frequency is 10.1 you can adjust whatever you want and phase angle or phase degree just leave it the zero amplitude is one and the remaining thing I just keep it the same as it default okay and just take the output as a create indicator graph so this is my first graph which is actually 10 hertz okay this is 10 Hertz let me just make little bold so that it will be easy to view for you this is 10 volt signal uh, 10 uh, 10 Hertz frequency with amplitude of 1 okay just check it by running this one okay this is 10 Hertz now I take another signal same sine wave but I will change the frequency not 10 but let's say I change is to the 100 okay the same sine wave phase angle 0 degree amplitude 1 now the frequency the signal will be like this one and the remaining uh, remaining sample per second time and the things are remaining is left as the default okay the same for that I create one indicator as a graph okay now this is my 100 Hertz this is my 100 Hertz signal okay I put it uh, here just to like this okay now if I run it you can check it this is 10 Hertz this is the 100 Hertz okay now I'll do some operation on these two signal of different frequency first I will try to add this two signal and see what will be the resulting signal okay for that just I take numeric control and add signal I just do the addition and also create here graph indicator this one and I give the name it's adding okay now see the result so this is the addition of two different signal of frequency 10 Hertz and 100 Hertz you get the result like this okay now what next I subtract it this two from this to this in the subtract it depends either uh, which one is you take as a one a, a signal one and which one take you as a signal two uh, subtraction okay now run it now see the subsection uh, it is different from the addition okay definitely it should be but I what I told it depends on the either you subtract from signal 1 to signal 2 or signal 2 to signal 1 okay now what I do I multiply these two signal 1 by 2 and take the indicator graph as a indicator uh, now this is my what multiplication run and check the result now this is the multiplication of a two signal 10 Hertz and 100 Hertz 
now what I can do I can also divide the signal 1 by signal 2 okay sorry there was something wrong signal 1 by signal 2 and create output as a graph as an indicator now this is actually the division check now this is the division signal 1 divided by signal 2 okay now now come to the uh, now make it large it in order to because I need more graph now what I want to do I want to do I want to apply the filter this is my original two signal okay let me make it some difference this is my original signal on which I applied different operation addition multiplication subtraction and division and this is the result this is the addition result and this is the multiplication and so on like that okay now I take this addition here and on addition signal I want to apply some filter okay so if I go there in the block diagram and this is my additional signal now I want to do some filtration so from for filtration let's say where should I go mm -hmm. express signal analysis and then filter okay same from the express signal analysis and then filter I just take the filter now if we have uh, now you have to select the properties of this filter how uh, what kind of filter filtration you want to do either you want to do filter low pass high pass band pass band stop or smoothing let's say assume I want to apply the low pass filter and in do in these two signal I have the frequency of 10 Hertz and 100 Hertz so what will be the cutoff frequency for I want to do I want to filter out the 10 Hertz frequency okay so it's just giving you result from here let's say you have a different signal and you want to do sorry 10 Hertz so the result will be like this okay uh, and the in flight pulse the IR response is topology is a better word leave it the constant and the third order filter leave it the constant okay just I make it okay and apply here this one and the take output as a graph as a indicator and this is the my filtered signal of adding okay now check the result now what you see you see that we from this addition we have filtered out the signal which is the 10 Hertz because I had this two signal 10 Hertz and 100 Hertz and it has filtered out this one but not complete uh, why not complete let me check from the filter here uh, I think it was 10.1 if I remember no not any difference uh, low pass but, but, but let's say if I keep it 100 let me check again okay 100 in the 100 it is giving the filter out the uh, frequency of 100 signal because it is the addition of this two okay uh, but the if I take the 100 I should change to high pass and then check now you are getting the 100 frequency signal okay uh, in the same way what you can do you can filter out any frequency depending on the type and the frequency let's say if I want to filter out the band fast so it is asking me what is the cutoff frequency uh, for the range 100 to 400 let's say if I set it default and now I check it so it's just filtering out this frequency okay uh, 
but I want it to filter from the frequency between uh, 20 to, to uh, 20 to 80 only ok check the result 20 to 80 filter, uh, frequency is filtered out ok in the same way uh, what I can do I can apply this filter to subtraction of the two signal here and I want to apply here the not band pass band stop ok the remaining thing uh, I should keep or what say uh, let's say I, I want to show you difference with the same input not here I want to connect this one to again the addition and this is the band stop in this frequency and this is the band pass with this frequency ok and now check the difference this is the addition of this two signal this is the filter signal band pass filter frequency between 20 to 80 and this is the band stop between 20 to 80 signal ok now I think uh, things are the clear uh, now let's say uh, from here if, if you want to do some more filtration and from here only what I want to filter high pass and the high pass is 100 ok and take the graph you get the high pass frequency ok same like this one this is the 100 this is the 100 frequency you are getting almost same um, uh, with some iteration in the uh, amplitude so same apply same things you can apply in all the uh, operations and filter out accordingly whatever you want now if I remove uh, this one and ok and I change I keep just uh, I, I just keep one this filter uh, this one which is the filtered what I applied band pass let me just change this to low pass and keep it the 20 and just check the result and then ok this is the 20 ok now what I want to do I want to change from here topology ok first order and better word now see the result ok so now the frequency is same low order but the type of the filter uh, topology this is the better word this is the shabby shape this is the inverse Chevy shape and this elliptic and this is bezel so whatever the filter you want to do apply and with the order number you can select here and get the desired result as you want ok so I hope you like this video uh, this is all about the filtration of a dif different signal first we did the multiplication addition subtraction of two different frequency signal and then apply different type of filters uh, on the addition of the signal in order to just make you understand this remaining principle apply for all the subtraction multiplication division you can apply and test what the result you get I hope you like the video thank you for next video take care and Allah Hafiz